The Vietnam Asset Management Company, or VAMC, was established and began to buy non-performing loans of commercial banks in a bid to clear the debts of the banks. However, this is by no means an easy task in the context that the government and the State Bank of Vietnam have only made initial efforts. The ITV reporter had a talk with Mr. Nirak Sapru, the new CEO for Vietnam, Cambodia and Laos at the Standard Chartered Bank. Firstly, congratulations for your time in Vietnam and thank you very much for spending your time being with us today. The first question I want to ask you about with over 25 years of investment and commercial banking experiences in Europe and Asia, so how do you assess the Vietnamese banking sector and its potential? Zong, thank you first of all for your kind words and thank you very much for the warm welcome. Um, uh, you know, I'm really happy to be in uh, Vietnam and I hope uh, that uh, as I've traveled and worked uh, in many countries, I can try and bring uh, some of the best practices that I've learned from uh, other markets and bring them to Vietnam. So, first of all, to answer your question on the general Vietnamese market, I'm very positive about the Vietnamese market. I think the long-term prospects of Vietnam are outstanding. Um, as I say, the best is yet to come. So I think the most, uh, so from a banking sector point of view, I think there are a few challenges in the short term. I think uh, some of the uh, issues around the NPL, some of the issues around corporate governance in the banking sector need to be addressed. Um, and I think those are beginning to be addressed, but a lot more work needs to be done in, in terms of getting us, getting the bad debt situation under control and behind us. I think the setup of the asset management company and the progress made so far is good. Uh, so I think uh, a lot more to be done. Though. Good beginning. What do you think about the process of dealing with the non-performing loans in Vietnam in recent years? And what are the differences in comparison with other countries? So I think uh, the Vietnam uh, experience is that they've made a good start. I think setting up the asset management company um, is one step. Secondly, the banks itself, uh, the banks themselves are looking at ways to restructure their own uh, loans. I think it's critically important that we get the um, get, get the next steps right. I think getting the next steps right include the resolution of uh, uh, loans through the legal system. I think that's an extremely important uh, part of uh, the banking debt restructuring challenge. I think also that the recapitalization of the banks subsequently is also uh, an area where I think maybe some foreign direct investment as well as some Vietnamese investment will help recapitalize the banks. So I think uh, there, are, there are two approaches to resolution of uh, banking uh, challenges. Uh, I think in some of the other markets, both an asset management company to take over the bad loans and a recapitalization entity to put in equity were established. In the Vietnamese case, the focus is really on liquidity into the banks and the asset management company taking away the asset and then providing the liquidity back to the banks so that the banks can on lend. Having said that, the banks still have a capital challenge. Uh, so I think there are differences uh, and still lots of work to do in terms of resolving the banking sector uh, problems. In fact, Vietnam has accepted uh, in foreign investors to join its uh, NPL's market. From your point of view, what mechanisms should Vietnam set up to allow the penetration of foreign investors? So, I, I think the fact that uh, the asset management company and the resolution of the bank, uh, banking sector debt includes a foreign solution is a good step. I think uh, it allows uh, market forces to determine the resolution of the banking sector bad debt situation. I think before foreign investors will really seriously participate in the restructuring of the banking sector, I think there are some fundamental issues that need to be focused on. I think the, the, the resolution of the debts through the legal system needs to be re-looked at. Uh, and, I, and I know policymakers are looking at it and figuring out mechanisms of allowing that to happen. But I do expect that over time, uh, foreign 
direct investment will come into the NPL sector and will help restructure the banking industry. Could you tell me your upcoming plans uh, in developing your banking products as well as uh, contributing to the development of Vietnamese banking and finance market? So Zung, for us, uh, we see a very long-term presence in Vietnam. Uh, we are building our business for the future. We believe that uh, the SME sector in Vietnam will power the next level of growth in the Vietnam economy. We want to be strongly participating in the small and medium enterprises. As they become bigger companies, we want to grow with them. So that's one area of a very important focus for us. We also believe that uh, exporting companies will be successful uh, going forward. We also want to participate with that. And especially with the fact that we have a very strong international network, our very strong trade finance bank, we believe we can support SMEs and exporters, improve their skills in trade finance, incre increase the use of IT and technology in the way they deal with banks. So that's one aspect of uh, areas of focus for us. The second and equally important area of focus for us is around uh, our online presence, online delivery of uh, solutions to our clients, whether they be in the consumer bank, whether they be in the SME space, whether they be in the wholesale banking and the larger corporate space. So really two areas of focus. We want to participate in the growth of the Vietnamese economy in the long term. Once again, uh, thank you very much for joining our interview today.